Hey guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm your host, Whiskey Matt, and today I'm going to be reviewing a Game of Thrones limited edition whiskey from their television series. And that one tonight is going to be the Singleton Glendolen. If you want to know more about it, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I just recently picked up this Game of Thrones uh, limited edition whiskey, which is the Singleton Glendolen version. I believe there's eight bottles in this collection. This is one of the eight. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review based on, uh, you know, what this stuff tastes like, and then also what is what is this Game of Thrones and what what it, what what it is exactly. And I just wanna let you know too, straight up front, that I'm actually not a, a fan or anything. I've never watched this show. Um, I don't have TV, so unfortunately I can't watch it. But um, the reason that I picked it up was is I like the way it looked, the marketing is cool. Um, and then I was starting to read about Games of Thrones and it seemed like a kind of sci-fi cool type of TV series, so I might be interested in watching it if I can find it on the internet. And then um, the Singleton. They're out of uh, Dufftown, Scotland, near the Spaceside region, or it could be in the Spaceside region, so don't quote me, I'm not an expert in, uh, on whiskey. But um, yeah, the Singleton. Let me tell you a little bit about Game of Thrones first. Game of Thrones, it's um, kind of like a sci-fi, kind of Lord of the Rings style um, TV show. They've got dragons, they've got lords, they've got, you know, creatures, they got it, got it all. And now, like I said, I haven't watched it, so I'm not exactly sure the story of it, but this um, edition that I have in front of us is the, uh, it says here, it's the House Tully edition. And the House Tully is one of the seven lords that are in the actual show. And uh, House Tully is, um, their uh, symbol is this silver trout. It's not silver on the bottle, but in the show it's silver. And uh, they have their little uh, code that they go by, family, duty, and honor. The House Tully. Lord Tully, oh yes, give me power. So that's uh, that, um, they're kind of, they made this bottle to honor that character in the in the show. And then Singleton. Singleton, what is that? If you've never had Singleton, like I said, they're out of Dufftown, um, Glen Dolan. Singleton was uh, founded by uh, William Grant and son and in the 1800s, late 1800s. Uh, Glen Dolan means uh, valley of the river, basically. Because this gl gl uh, Glen is the valley, and then Dolan is like the river in which this distillery is near. So that's what that kind of means. And then on the back side here, it's showing kind of all of the different Game of Thrones um, uh, and their different uh, um, editions. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to bring it in close so you can see all of them on the back there. There is kind of like a little... Uh, tells you what House of Tully is, but I'm not going to read it because I don't know anything about it and I'm not sure if any of you guys do. I mean, I can read it. I can read it too. It says, House Tully's Ancestral Keep. River Run spans the junction of the Red Fork of the Trident and the Tumblestone River. Ruling as Lord of the Redlands under the house sigil of Silver Trout flashing above rushing water. House Tully embodies the surge of rivers among which they live, with determination of river waters that never cease moving, they formed powerful alliances and fight against the current family duty and honor. So it's so that's kind of like their little thing here. It's saying, situated on the banks of the river Fittick, in the woods, in oh, sorry. Situated on the banks of the River Fittick, 
in the wooden hills of Dufftown, Glen Dolan originally relied on the waters that it that it surrounded. Harness, or sorry, harnessing the force of the waters that flowed through the land, it utilized water wheel to power the um, entire distillery. Best served with a splash of water, this scotch has notes of green apple, honey, sweet vanilla, and the finish is dry and clean. So yeah, like I was saying before, it's near the river. That's Dolan is the river in Dufftown where this distillery um, kind of is. And it's, uh, this, like I said, it's a single malt and it's, special, it's a special edition. I, this was really difficult for me to find. I didn't realize the popularity of this and why, why it was so special, but I picked it up, I was able to find it. The price of this one was about $40. Pretty cheap for something so special, but trying to find it, that's, you know, that's the task. So let me open it up now and we can taste it together. And it's saying here it's 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Yeah, and it said distillery 1897, so that was kind of when it was founded by the uh, William Grant and Sons. So let's open it up, and let me bring the bottle in a little, the, the, the carton a little closer so you can kind of see the silver trout. It's pretty cool looking um, marketing. And then kind of spin it around. But yeah, pretty sweet. I like the package. And then the bottle as well. Very clean looking. Look at the color of that whiskey. Doesn't it look wonderful? It sure does. All right, let's open this up. It's got a good, nice little funk to it. Let's pour this out, pour a little bit out. Okay. Okay, so I've got my RO water here that we can add to it um, when the time comes. And um, in this TV series, I just wanted to say there's one character that I kind of was doing a little research, and his name is Tyron Lannister. And he is, um, they call him Half Man, Imp, whatever you want to call him. He's a dwarf in the show, and he's hilarious. He's a drunk, and most likely this. Singleton would be his drink. So cheers to him. Okay. So let's first, let's do a nosing and then I'll add water to it little by little to kind of give you what I'm smelling and tasting. So let me go for a little nosing here. And there's actually a trick to nosing. You don't want to get your nose way deep down in there. You kind of want to just find that right spot where you can smell it, get the aromas right around this area. And the, the notes that I'm kind of capturing is a Granny Smith apple. Like when you crunch into it and it and the kind of like the juice from the apple kind of like all over your face. Kind of got that like sour, sweet kind of apple smell. It's exactly what it smells like, totally the same. Kind of reminds me of back when I was a kid eating those little apples. My mom used to buy those for me buy those for me and I used to love Granny Smith apples. What else does it smell like? It's got kind of like a, a dried fruit smell. Like, um, for me, I think it smells like, uh, like banana chips, you know? It's the dried bananas you always see over in the grocery store. It kind of has that same similar smell to it. Smells good. It's got a unique smell. It definitely has a lot of fruit, dried fruit. It's, it's kind of sweet, sour, kind of bitter, sour, sweet smell. It's got an interesting smell. If it's it's subtle though, it's not it's not bold. If I get my nose deep down in there, it's still very subtle. Um, I'm, my nose isn't being burned by the fire. It's only 80 proof, so it's not extremely strong. Let me go for a little sip here. Cheers to all my uh, subscribers, any new viewers, and to Ty Tyro, the main star. Cheers to you, buddy. Right away, the flavor I'm getting 
has a bit of uh, heat near the back of my tongue. And uh, I'm getting kind of a similarly apple kind of fruit, dried fruit uh, flavor. And a bit of the oakiness. Just a bit. Now the carton said it ta they think that it tastes kind of like honey and vanilla. I could say it kind of does, a little bit. But it's kind of got like a buttery kind of oily finish, or a oily mouthfeel. And uh, the finish of it is a bit dry. My mouth is quite dry, but the finish of it is very smooth. It's like juice. Reminds me of kind of like apple juice, you know? Pretty, pretty tasty stuff. If you've not had Singleton, I would recommend this Glendolin for sure, even if it's not the uh, Game of Thrones version. They have a separate version. It'd be worth picking up. I'm sure it's probably pretty cheap as well. Um, let's, just for grins, let's add some um, RO water to it. See if that opens up the flavors a little bit. We gotta release the molecules and see if uh, we can see if we can capture any of these other new flavors. You know, originally I didn't know anything about this Game of Thrones, but my uh, my buddy on uh, YouTube there, and he's kind of my new friend. His name's Antonio at Whiskey Quest. I'll put his link. He recently purchased uh, also another Game of Thrones whiskey, it was the uh, Delweeny. I forget what uh, version that was, let's see, on the carton it says here, he purchased, uh, let's see here, he purchased the House Stark, and he reviewed that one. So, might be a good idea to check out his review and see what he thought of that uh, Game of Thrones edition. But, um, look at the color of this. Bring it in close so you can kind of see the color. It looks, it's kind of just got a kind of golden hue to it. Typical color. Same smell. Let's go for a little taste with the RO water. What's interesting is generally when you think you add water, it would dilute. In this case, it's made the whiskey more spicy. I, it's really bringing out the um, the spiciness, the 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 um, kind of like cinnamon and almost like uh, cloves. Cloves have got a real unique uh, kind of uh, taste to them. Kind of <laughs> reminds me of my early day smoking those Swisher sweets. Whew. We used to call them the lung bleeders. Oh, man. Thank God this, this cloves aren't super strong in this. Um, but it has the, it has like hint of cloves, nutmeg, spices, which I didn't get at all um, previous to watering it, you know? It's got a really, really balanced, pleasant, taste to it. It's definitely something that would pair well with something that's salty. So maybe like Lebanese food, Armenian food, any type of Middle Eastern food, this would go so well with. Because those foods are very savory. This is kind of sweet, bitter, maybe go with the salty, you know, type of uh, cuisine, but definitely delicious. Um, if I were to rate this one, I would say it's easily like nine, nine out of ten. It's, it's delicious tasting. It's got a wonderful uh, mouthfeel. It's 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 just right. I'm gonna you know just for grins, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it and see if that really makes a difference or not. We'll dilute it. Let's dilute it a little bit more. Let's add, keep adding here. Let's see what that does. We'll mix it up. Let's see if that makes a difference. Swirl it around. And uh, 
interestingly, adding what, two or three drops to it, I'm now kind of tasting more oakiness, more subtle flavors of just the, the wood. Um, and then, you know, with wood, you get kind of the, you know, the sugars that are in the wood, so you're gonna taste more vanilla, caramel, that type of stuff. So that's kind of what I'm getting now. Now it's just like a shooter. I can just slam this stuff so good. Overall, definitely uh, worth picking up for $40. Game of Thrones, Singleton, House Tully Edition. Highly recommended if you can find it. But uh, yeah, my review of this whiskey is a thumbs up and not a thumbs down. If you like my video, like and subscribe to me. Uh, leave me some comments and let me know if, uh, if you have this collection, what you think of it. Anyways, uh, cheers guys, and uh, have a great day. See ya.